all right how we doing so i've been meaning to do a video like this and what you need to worry about okay please spread this to as many people as you can any listeners okay recommend this video to as much people as you can there youtube all right if you got any fact checkers that are listening to this video so this is just a debate okay on if Donald Trump is going to, President Donald Trump is going to run again, Biden is going to run again, and also Trump is, Trump's face, fate. Now, you know, Donald Trump right now, former president, some facing some serious allegations off that January 6th trial. Okay, he may face jail time. Furthermore, and he's been at this for what? almost two years now about this challenging election fraud, okay? Maybe like a recount at the same time as these January 6th trials uh, are going on right now. I think we're at day eight, okay? Today, uh, 21st of July makes day eight these trials. I didn't really cover it that much because I figured it was all staged a bunch of BS anyway, okay? Those punk-ass cops or whatever, okay, that didn't do anything, all right? Acting like crybabies, okay? Those jack-all cops, all right? Probably rejects from the D.C. Metro Police or, I don't know, one of those suburban area uh, police and capital poli uh, police, okay? Anyway, and I had a debate actually about five days ago uh, with some Vietnam War vets uh, that are in my apartment complex. We have all kinds of uh, veterans that live there. We got Vietnam War vets. We got Gulf War vets, a lot of Afghan uh, vets, a lot of people that are retired and so forth. But particularly like at least I want to say 60 percent of us are like veterans. And about, uh, first of all, okay, I don't think Donald Trump is going to jail, okay? Um, I don't think that he's going to run again in 2024. Joe Biden, he claims that he's going to run again, but if he runs again and or if Kamala runs again, then I don't think that he's going to, I don't think he's going to win. Okay. I think we, we know what's going to happen in 2022 and 2024. Okay. I looked at a few days ago, it might've been like last Saturday from NBC news. And you know, you really can't rely too tough on those sources either. That 65% of Americans, be they if you're a Republican or Democrat, want to see another candidate in 2024, okay? That, now, that's for both parties, okay? Why? Because those guys are just too old, and they just feel as though they're not taking care of business. They're not getting a lot done. A lot of people are not happy with the economy, with the high inflation rates, although that's not the president's fault, okay? But I'm pretty sure that they, that they have some type of insight on that. Uh, Whoever is in, elected in office, but it's not direct. You understand? Uh, yeah, high gas prices, high housing pr uh, prices right now is just a, a buyer's market or a seller. Let's see, a seller's market and not a buyer's market. And people just can't afford to do stuff. Okay, they just can't afford it because the jobs don't pay enough. And then if it does. They pay more, but things cost more, okay, for the expenses that people have to encounter, okay? Uh, I don't think that uh, Donald Trump is going to run in 2024. Now, I did a video about Ivana Trump. I believe I did it, like, last Friday night, you know, with her death and what I think that happened and what uh, Donald Trump, uh, you know, right now his decision is pending about 2024, Okay. Now, what I think that he will do, and there's also a poll behind that, 
what I think he will do is I think that he will try to challenge this 2020 election. All right. As this uh, trial is going on. All right. And we'll probably end up getting the results of all this probably around the time of the election. Maybe I'm thinking October or something like that. Okay. I think that they may, you know, Congress may ask them, you know, not to challenge the election. Okay. Which tells you right then that something was, something is rigged right there. All right. This is probably the reason why they're having this court case in the first place. That and other things about Donald Trump, like his taxes and so forth. Okay. But if, okay, I say this because 75% uh, of a poll of Republicans would like to see Donald Trump challenge the election. All right. That's from the same source from the NBC News. So he may, even if they'll, they'll ask him not to challenge it. And you know what I'm saying? Maybe they may offer to drop the case. He may, he may try to do it anyway if he feels as though he can win. Now, I think that he will try to do that and try to maybe find a way to get back in office by, let's say, by 2023, by the beginning of that year, okay? Or maybe, uh, I don't know, around the time of, of this midterm election, okay? And I think that we know what's going to happen. We're going to get an overturn. All right, that's just what I think, okay? And it's not going to be uh, far uh uh, like a slam dunk, but it's going to be fairly close. I think it looks like probably the Republicans are going to get uh, charge of uh, Congress, okay? And I believe that definitely will happen. All right, in fact, it's spe- speculated it's going to be like uh, not, it's going to be fairly close, okay? Um, but, uh, 2022. So that's just what I think that's going to happen. I believe that Kamala Harris will probably try to run if and only if Joe Biden changes his mind. But I just don't I just don't think that she's going to run probably because Joe Biden is going to run. OK, unless this guy end up having a, a health issue or he just I think it's the 25th Amendment. Uh, if Congress feels as though uh, he's not. Uh, physically or mentally fit to continue the job, okay? What I think may happen in 24, 24 I think that I might see uh, DeSantis. There's another guy, I think it's uh, Paul uh, Buttgeg. Uh, he, he's uh, Secretary of State. Uh, one of those secretaries or whatever. He's somebody that's already got cabinet experience, okay? That's probably one of the best candidates for... Now, this is the Democrat uh, candidate. Okay, that somebody has already got that type of experience, or maybe somebody in the house, okay, and not Pelosi, okay, one of the other guys, or, or the other guy, uh, McConnell, okay, uh, a younger candidate, but somebody with the cabinet type of experience, or maybe if they are a top congressional candidate in the Democratic office. That's probably what I see, but I probably see DeSantis on the Republican side being the best candidate for 2024. In other words, I think that you can kind of piece together what I'm telling you, y'all, okay, for 2024, but we just can't see it yet. Now, for the people, this is a distraction, okay? With that, and you have other things going on like the WNBA All-Star Game, the uh, uh, in, in Major League Baseball All-Star Game, all these Chelsea soccer games, and with the World Cup going on around the time, all this stuff is happening between now and the end of October. Okay, football season is starting. Okay, but it's, you know, you guys do your thing, but you guys need to be aware of these things or whatever, all right? That they distract you with this and these, uh, this, 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 these cases and all that while they're changing laws every single, get, every single day. The governor is the one that you want to watch, okay? That's the one you want to watch. Real, uh, interest rates are going to go up since September again. It's already 9.1. It's going to go up to probably 9.4. And more than likely, that's going to happen. What you need to do right now, I understand the people, you know, you guys got that, uh, for those who got the tax credit, uh, child tax credit, 
what's that, what, 3000 per child? And I know you guys are probably enjoying your time with your family and all that, maybe traveling, school's about to start. But I want to probably say after August, around or around that time, a lot of that would have worn off by now, by then, maybe about another month. What you need to do is get yourself a cart, go over here to Walmart or Costco or whatever, and stock up on all the try to uh, dry products, food, uh, you know, that type of stuff. Just like you did in the 2020. People have been telling you that for years. Ammo, that type of stuff. Because there's also talk about food shortage in September, October, November. Okay? All right, so it's going to be more, more headache. Okay? And keep the most high first. Stay prayed up and do not sit here and worry about these tenements and so forth. Okay, that's if I said that right. I hope that's uh, a good vocabulary, uh, 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 well, every word. Okay. Um, hey, you know, do what makes you feel that's happy or you and your family, but you guys need to be aware of these things and you guys need to pay attention to current events. Don't worry too much about the stock market or money. It's more so about happiness, life, you know, mental health. Okay. But let me know what you think about this video here. That's just what I think is going to happen. Now, I'm telling you what you need to do. You need to keep preparing. Okay? All right. Thank you for your time. Y'all have a wonderful day.